Hello, I'm going to show you TrackMaster and how to configure it with GarageBand. So here is a default TrackMaster window. Um, on the bottom of the window, you will see an on and off button and the mode selection button. In the general tab, you can configure TrackMaster's behavior. Um, you can show, well, Next we have a graph tab. This is where TrackMaster shows your finger position in relation to the trackpad. So as I'm moving my, my fingers, you can see them showing up on the screen. The X and Y tab is used to enable and disable finger gestures for the X and Y mode. And in the Notes tab, you can change the scales, um, transpose uh, the notes and change the keys. And finally in the MIDI tab, you can change the MIDI channels uh, that TrackMaster is using. I'm going to bring up GarageBand now and press the on button uh, on the TrackMaster and play some notes. TrackMaster supports full multi-touch and can track up to three fingers at a time. To stop TrackMaster from tracking your fingers, click on the window and it will turn it off. Now I'll change the scale to um, harmonic minor, and the key. The D sharp. And turn it on. Again, I'll click on the window to turn it off. Okay, now I'm going to show you a little bit of MIDI functionality that's built into TrackMaster. I'm going to switch to the MIDI tab and assign different MIDI channels to the different finger gestures. For example, channel number 7 in GarageBand will control the volume of the track, and channel number 10 will control the panning. Um, I'm assigning these to uh, only one finger for the X and Y axis. Now I'm switching to the X and Y tab, and I'm going to turn these um, X and Y axis uh, finger tracking on, and I'm going to switch to the X and Y mode, and turn it on. Uh, notice how when I move my finger, um, the X and Y position changes the volume and the panning. Well, this is it for this demo video. Hope you liked it, and I hope you enjoyed TrackMaster.